Hi everyone, welcome to today's video and today I am going to be showing you the ultimate Christmas makeup look. <laughs> Why was there such a big pause between Christmas and makeup look? Um, it's just your very, very classic, simple gold eyeshadow kind of thing, uh, big fluttery lashes, winged eyeliner and a bright red lip to finish it all off. I was going to wear my Christmas jumper to do this but it doesn't really match for some reason so I was like, mm. Let's hold up on the Christmas jumper just for a second. Um, yeah, I, just, I don't really have anything else to say other than I've been doing Vlogmas, so if you haven't been catching up with it, um, there is a playlist down below where I can, where you can watch it. Um, and I'm filming this video upside down again, but I don't really need to say that anymore because it's kind of just a given. Um, and if you want to see how I got the makeup I'm wearing right now, continue watching the tutorial. Okay, so I am going to start off by... Oh, the wi has gone. Great. Um, I'm going to start off by using this eyeshadow here, which is the Natural Collection Milk Chocolate Eyeshadow. And I'm just going to use this on a big fluffy brush as our initial transition shade and run this through the crease. And I'm gonna use circular motions to make it sort of big and blown out and just windscreen wiper motions to blend it through, like so. Like so. And then moving on to the even easier part of the tutorial. I am going to be using this eyeshadow here, which is a MAC one and it's in the shade Woodwinked. It's just a sort of gold colour, pretty much. It's kind of like more muted rather than bright gold, um, which I like a lot because it's not so in your face. And I'm literally just going to use that on a flat shader brush and pack that all over the lid. quite a warm gold as well which is why it works so well with the warm transition shades and also why it will work really well with the red lipstick that we're going to use afterwards. And then for the last part of the eyeshadow tutorial I am literally going to take this slightly dark warm brown called Foley also from MAC, also from MAC and I'm going to take that on a smaller fluffy crease brush and just put that in the outer corner of the eye and slightly through the crease just to add a little more depth and definition there. And then I'm going to go back in with that original brush, I can't speak today, and blend it all out. And that is exactly how simple this eyeshadow tutorial is. And there you go. So I'm going to move on now and I'm going to do winged eyeliner, where my eyeliner is gone? I'm going to do a winged eyeliner as normal, just a very very classic black wing. Probably go out of the viewfinder for this, so I'll just kind of... And then I'm just going to whip off the sellotape and we've got the nice clean line there and then as always I'm just going to go ahead with concealer so I'm using the 17 stay time concealer as always and I'm just going to pop that underneath my eyes this eyebrow went really bad badly this morning it's really terrible And then I'm going to set all that in place with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. And then go ahead and do my under eyes. So I'm going to take that same wood winged eyeshadow on that same brush and I'm just going to run that along my lower lash line. Like so. And then blend it out. with my fluffy brush and then I'm going to do my tight line and my waterline using a white and a black eyeliner 
as normal. And then for the inner corner, I'm going to be using the, the highlights we're going to be using on our faces, which is from the Sneak Solstice palette, and I'm going to be using these two highlighters right here and just mixing them together on a pencil brush. Just popping them in my inner corner. And then I'm just going to add mascara. And then that's the eye look complete. Very, very simple. Very easy. Okay, so for the face, I am firstly going to start off using my Revlon Photo Ready Skin Lights Face Illuminator. It's the one. And I'm going to grab a little brush to do this with. So I'm actually going to use the Real Techniques Contour Brush to blend this out because I find fluffy brushes sometimes work quite well with primers. So I'm just going to put this on my on the back of my hand and I'm just going to basically blob this apply this how I'd apply a foundation pretty much guys, no drill okay, so if you're pale like me you probably resemble a slightly sunburnt something or other now um, that's fine because we are going to go in with foundation and I'm going to be using my L'Oreal True Match foundation today because it's just got a bit of a heavier coverage and that's what we want at Christmas because we want long lasting glam. Ugh. It's going really weird. Let's even up that skin tone. So then for contour and all that good stuff, I'm going to be using the same as always uh, Sleek Contour Kit on the Real Techniques Geo 5 Contour Brush. Just give myself a little bit of those cheekbones. Contour away that chub. Like so. And then I'm going to take that on a bigger brush and I'm just going to put that on my neck and jawline just to try and darken it up a little bit. And then just on my temples. And then for a little bit more bronze I'm going to take the Bourjois Chocolate Bronzer and I'm going to swirl together both the highlight and the bronze colour. And then, like I said earlier, for highlighter, I'm going to be using the Sleek Solstice palette, and I'm going to take these two at the bottom for highlighter. Oh, yeah. So, and then I'm just going to set all that in place with powder. Like so. And then I'm going to add my false eyelashes before we move on to the lips. Oh. Okay, found some glue. 
So now we can actually put the eyelashes on. I think I'm going to turn Stranger Things on while I do this because this is going to take a while. So for the lips, as you could probably see in the thumbnail, I'm going to go for something a little bit more adventurous. I never really wear red lipstick because it doesn't really look good on me. Retainer. Do my advent calendar now. Ooh. No, I just caused an apocalypse. I got hooked on one of my baubles on my tree. Thank you, advent calendar. I've got my retainer out, I'll do my advent calendar now. What day is it? Today's six. I'm going to firstly line my lips with MAC Red, um, no, MAC Half Red Lip Liner just so we can apply the liquid lipstick easier, I guess. Like so. And then for the actual liquid lipstick, I'm going to be using the MUA Velvet Lip Lacquer in the shade Reckless, which is just basically a really bright red. It kind of smells a bit funky though. It smells a bit like cowpole. Which is, you know, I guess it's cool. the lips done that is the finished tutorial um yeah i this is the finished look it's just your very very classic christmas gold eye red lip winged eyeliner kind of thing um if you liked the video give it a like and a thumbs up they're the same thing great why am i like this um leave a comment uh saying what you'd like to see next any other christmas tutorials um make sure to catch up on my vlogmas if you haven't been and what else was i going to say um, um, subscribe, that's the other thing I wanted to say, subscribe, because it's cool, and I need the subscribers, I think. Um, yeah, so subscribe to my channel if you want to see more quality content, like what you've just seen for however long this video was. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.